Okay, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Play the Hits Presents Indian Summer. You are watching The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. How are we doing, Max? I'm pretty good. Uh, well, if it wasn't for Discord doing weirdness, it's uh, basically when you started, it kind of went back. Uh-huh. And actually now it's coming in clear again. It's, again, almost as if it was a crappy internet connection, but we've established that's not the case. You but know, I'm doing yeah. pretty good tonight, either case. <laughs> I'm I'm clueless. Like I don't know what caused this. Um, yeah, now know. it's coming in fine again. So I'm just gonna not say anything about it, and hopefully it'll be okay. Yeah, now it's coming in like really nice. Is it just me or why did the game spawn us back here by the train? Like, weren't we over by the bridge when we left off last time? I was about to say you were on a bridge. I was like, is it this? Is it th this bridge-looking thing? Or no, what? we were like all the way. We were fucking way over there. If that's the case, I mean, that's the thing, but that's farther along. I was like, oh, maybe you're supposed to be here, but I don't think so. Um, I don't think there's, like, anything left to do. I mean, I think you come back to where the, the tram is, like that lift, and, yeah. you, you know, probably later in the game once you get well, stuff. Well, actually, not, since you mentioned that, I did, like, I wasn't satisfied with how we left that, and so I didn't look up a guide, but I kind of looked up, like, a breakdown of the yeah. things and it turns out like Cheater. the order of Shame. yeah right yeah. The, the order of things we actually are supposed to solve this at the beginning so um oh, the, oh okay that's not to say i do know how to solve it uh only that uh i i know that it is solvable from the point that we're at so okay. i'm gonna yeah, but this is near wait. the beginning isn't it? yeah this Was... is pretty much the beginning did it highlight the traps earlier Oh wait, no, it's I think just it did. Thing. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I don't recall the text being over it though. That's weird. I don't know, maybe explore around here a little bit more. Like what what were all did, did the traps maybe have something to do with it? Maybe. I no, mean, they didn't really click... do anything. That... No, that's right. They just did this like weird swirly thing that I don't quite understand what the point is. Wait, is there? Oh, there's more to it back here. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, I don't think those could actually hurt us, one. but... Yeah. No, because I remember you tried jumping into a pit once. Whoa, wait. It... Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Okay. Did you have to find all of them to... Uh, apparently, yeah, the that was the last one. We're already doing a hell of a lot better than we did last episode. <laughs> you know, all things considered. I mean, we could be these guys. Better than these guys, yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's another... Oh, shit, dude. This Something is like a full-on... Yeah. How, how's this coming in for you? This is this is fine, yeah. Really? Okay. So, whatever. Okay, so an old man came to the forest every day to drink sap from the trees. To get there, the old man had to step around many dangerous traps. The villagers believed this old man had hidden a jade amulet in the forest. But the old man wanted the villagers to believe this because then they would search the forest for treasure and not drink his sap. <laughs> This is it sounds like typical old man behavior. One cool all night someone set fire to the forest and fire spread. Oh wow, shit, that is old man behavior. Uh cover himself in sap when he returns to the village. The know, sap does it, it all. Oh shit, dude. No. Alright, well, whatever. Then he found more sap to drink, and then all I right, found ten dollars. And here's the an end. illustration in case that wasn't vivid enough for you, yeah. <laughs> Alright. I told you. Speaking of uh, angry old man, how much of the Mueller report did you watch today? The, like the testimony yeah I'm i didn't sorry, i didn't no, watch any of it I, I, all i've heard is basically what came of it is that he's saying okay pretty much i'm not changing what i said in the report yeah, so, but i'm not absolving you know what seemed to have come out in the media is that i'm absolving trump yeah that's it, not what it, it was doing it was a fucking lark um what really pissed me off about it was that like um and granted i did not read the report front to back i kind of did the uh, cliff notes oh, version that business yeah. insider posts it's like here's the main highlights like the excruciate sparing you the excruciating details here's the important takeaways and so I, yeah. I i read like kind of the 50 page version and um so did that actually do anything for the tram let's check it out um but in any case yeah like he he went into it saying you know i i I can't indict a sitting president, and I can't add anything to the report. So this is literally just me giving a 
audio version of it for the motherfuckers who are too lazy to read this shit. Yeah. And, and, like that's honestly what it was. And yeah. it, what a what a fucking disgrace. And then like the and again, you know, not to get all political again, but the goddamn republic. Not, not to get all political, even though but, we're but the, definitely yeah, there. Yeah, but that's where we are. Yeah, the goddamn Republicans. Um, like no joke, just fucking crucifying this man for. Um... Now why why do only some? What the fuck? Okay, how did I miss all this the first time? When now what did that do? Okay, so wait, hold on. You can actually center it on... What the shit? What? How did I miss all this the first time? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so it's just down there by the lake. All right. Um, But yeah, I mean, it was it was exactly what I expected of it. Like, nothing more, nothing to, less. To happen. The, the only yeah. thing that I... The only beef that I had with it was the fucking disgraceful behavior. I thought I saw something over here. Afterwards and, and what? Who was it that... Based... The, oh, the, that Republican that, like, fucking lost his shit on national television? No. Well, there was... I remember when the report first came out, and there was someone from the administration that's like, here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna basically, you know, simplify it. TLDR, uh... You know, Trump was never... You know, I mean, he wasn't indicted or anything, and I know that's true, but it's it's like, yeah, things are fine. And it's like, uh, they they really downplayed the the report talking about Russian interference and that uh -huh. that's, you know, that seemed to be an actual thing that they believe happened. Right. Um, and that they're not exonerating Trump from that. They're just not indicting. And that's right. Yeah. Very. It's definitely different. And yeah, I think very, for it's because. Sure. Um not necessarily law, but it's just like precedent is that you don't indict a sitting president. It's just, it's, I guess it's never happened. Dude, um, this is like the main mechanic of the game. And I didn't <laughs> look at this shit to find where everything is. Yeah. This one made things a lot easier, I guess. Well, no, wait, where the hell is yeah, what the okay, hell? So that's a tree stump. Dude, this is like, I guess those traps are trying to almost like Condition show you? you to yeah the, yeah. Well, now wait. The, uh, there's a rock somewhere over here, but there's also this dude. So now, what if I just like? I just said trash. I was like, that's a little mean. Yeah, right. <laughs> just human trash. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, trash. like uh, other than just, just my just my disgust with the the general level of political discourse in this country, like that's all I really want to say. By it. do you see a tree stump anywhere? Hmm. -mm. This trees. They said it was this way, so. Wait, here we go. This has got to be it. What was it? it? Was it was either today or yesterday? This was nothing to do with with the testimony, but uh, just another Trumpism. He was. Who was he talking to? He's talking to a bunch of teenagers. Oh yeah. Somewhere. So, what did he say? Ahead. It was like I'm not even get into Article Two, which basically lets me do whatever yeah, I want. Gives me it's the freedom like, to do whatever I want. Yeah. <laughs> of course, he would say that. Wait a minute. Uh, it just uh, makes it never ceases to just there's the there, there's always a new wellspring of anger yeah, is bottomless right. for for that man. I, mm -hmm. I I will never stop being outraged about it. And, just... and then like the whole we haven't talked since the whole um, get out of my country fiasco that, that he's oh with the what with, with the um, like, the congresswoman yeah so so you and I we we joke casually all the time about race relations and, and, and just things like that because oh, oh here yeah. we go and i am mexican oh, there there we, yeah, <laughs> yeah that's right that, that's usually the butt of the joke but yeah you, you know of course that i love you and you're my you're my it best comes from friend a place of love yeah exactly oh, yeah um well, like, eddie does the same thing <laughs> yeah right so so this is like the closest thing to something serious i'll ever say on this show but like I swear to God, this country is fucking failing you. <laughs> and like, be, because, because you're the exact type of person that Trump, now what the hell did that do? That Trump has like an actual beef with. What? It's the same damn thing as that cemetery where I put the fuel or the, uh, the lantern there. It just does nothing. Sorry, two conversations at it was, once. It was but important. like, in, in in his like ideal version of this country, 
Like, we start with all the illegals, and then we just move it to anyone whose skin color happens to be brown. And, and that's yeah. what he's doing with the the uh, Imar. Um, what, what's her last name? I... Uh, I'm not. I'm not sure. Uh, but but yeah, the, she's a fucking congressional representative. She she is an honored member of the the Congress of the United States of America and a citizen. Um, and, and he's telling her to get out, uh, basically like that. That like yeah. what? I mean, Jesus Christ! Do we? Are we really trying to like? downplay that as oh no he just disagrees with her policy no he doesn't he doesn't have a fucking clue what her policies are he no, wants... and i don't get what people are trying to downplay I, she's I, a trump there was something critic, on like he... fox news had like the oh, what are they basically the women of trump or something like that in which it's like oh these normal oh, people but no there a lot of them were it's like one is um they're all connected basically but they're they were oh there we go yeah we got it they were trying to downplay it and um oh i'm i just noticed i'm kind of i'm watching on the uh the twitch stream on my phone uh-huh. which is a couple seconds behind but for whatever reason this is coming in crystal clear yeah. this is coming in like 1080p oh, and dude. on my computer it's not so there is it's something about the computer that's that's well if you'd like to here. free up some of your internet resources i could always just cut the um video feed and we could just use discord to talk no, that's okay. I, I, you know what I think it is. It's, it's my computer itself. Uh-huh. I had to get a new one. My, my computer is uh, kind of garbage. I sent you. Um, there were a couple like joke ones, like two thousand dollar ones. But I, I think I sent oh, you these, a like, couple. Oh, these like gaming laptops. Yeah, I think I sent you a couple serious ones too. That uh, best. Oh, some of them were really tempting. Yeah, like uh, was... six hundred dollars for like yeah, a there was GTX ten seventy. Yeah, that's that's pretty sick. Yeah, Wait, spin it wasn't bad. The one we want to build is would be more than that, like a tower oh, computer. Okay. Um, we would want like a crap ton of memory, basically. So Addy can is it gonna run design me over? stuff. Oh wait, no, it's just working. Okay. Yeah, no, I I got you. And you know, towers really are the way to go anymore because you can just get like if you're just looking to do some word processing, you can just do like um like a Chromebook or something. And, and but yeah. if you're looking for gaming or any kind of like serious office suite, let's hit it. <laughs> no, nope. it just goes fast as you can. All right. But oh wait, yeah, and probably, you never have to on. worry about upgrading these things because you just have There's probably something under it. All the room to do whatever you want. Yeah, exactly, and that's that's the beauty of a desktop over a laptop is um, never having to worry about a. Uh, upgrading because you yeah. always have that option whereas laptops is extremely difficult to upgrade that and okay, just getting all not. your stuff piecemeal you know i mean to a point you don't want to like go crazy and and have things that really don't work well together mm-hmm. um but yeah to just be able to get stuff when it goes on sale or did i you want see, this exact uh, thing did you see the gtx 2080s i mean don't get me wrong this is still an absorbent amount of this money is like top of the line kind of stuff yes, no i, I uh, haven't they they just went down to there's a new version of it out crap i have to spin the crank again um there's a new version of it out uh called the rtx like 2080 super edition or something like that and it's yeah. uh 700 700 dollars yeah, I, dude, Nvidia stuff and Nvidia is pretty much which is still what you know at. that's the price of a like brand new console like probably more yeah. than the PS5 is going to cost um, probably but at the same time like the fact is that was released a year ago now and it was like what twelve hundred dollars when it came out that's a pretty nice rate of return. <laughs> it's I mean it's it's a steep drop for sure. Yeah, but and, and if you is, are someone who only upgrades their comp- like if you're a sole PC gamer. And you only upgrade once every, you know, couple of years. Yeah, that that's a that's a pretty good price to spring on for basically what is an entirely new future proof, at least for the next, you know, five to ten years. For a couple years, yeah. yeah. I feel like with graphics cards, the top of the line stuff is gonna have technologies that maybe don't even get used, but they're they're like here just in case. Here's right. like the super bells and whistle stuff, you know. If like maybe ray tracing doesn't end up becoming a thing, although of course it is because it's it's already being used extensively uh-huh. in like you know movies and 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 uh, rendering programs and stuff like that. I have no idea, but I know yeah. it's being used. Um, Wait, but I think go ahead. If I were to get like a, a really good graphics card, and I don't have anything specifically in mind, uh-huh. but I would probably get 
not the highest level thing, but like the second or third highest level thing. Yeah. Where it's like, it has the stuff. What they're going to cut is the stuff that's either more experimental or or the stuff that, you know, that they're thinking this isn't as important. Right. You know? So, th- so um, my computer, uh, when I got it, um, man, going on two years uh, this December. Um, not too bad. Came with a, came with a GTX uh, 1080, which... Um, it wasn't like a 1080i or a ti- or a, sorry, a 1080ti or a Titan, um, mm-hmm. but at the same time, it was still one of like the the top league ones. Now is that the 1080 is still going for like three hundred dollars? Yeah, it? well, yeah. well, and uh, this time last year during like the uh, graphics card crisis, um, it was going for like actually more than a new computer like it was actually cheaper to buy a computer with the graphics card in it (laughs) than it was just to buy the straight card what is this graphics card crisis was this just a supply situation it was was really complicated it had something to do with bitcoin and um what oh (laughs) all kinds of other i i missed this totally yeah i don't i'm I'm not i'm not big on the computers you know as far as like really the minutia of what's going on i actually i gotta say the graphics card when it comes to nvidia confuses the hell out of me it seems like there's at least three different lines probably more of graphics cards that they have yeah and because there's like the 10 whatever series there's the 600 or something like that there's yeah it's it's confusing to me so it's just like Uh what do i (laughs) so i'm not 100 percent sure what i'm supposed to do here I'm I'm thinking like tie this to the fact that he was hit with the rail car. It looks like that's what got his legs. I don't know. Like how far did we come? Like it seemed like you went really far. So like I'm still I feel like I'm still learning how this all functions. Wait, something different now. No. What is this shit? So why are you able to do that? Do you like is my guy a psychic? Yeah, I don't power. Know. Yeah. What? Okay, so let's try parking it over where it says rail car again. Because that would make sense, right? Fuel canister. Okay, that was a sound. What? Yeah, it was a little creepy. What the hell does this want? This game want? Maybe if I turn it off. Okay, spin crank. Nope. Is the rock gonna let me do something now? This game is weird, man. I I, I I'm clueless. <laughs> I don't have a realistic idea of what I should be doing. What did that say around the rock? There was like a sign on the ground or something. Do not enter. Oh, okay. That's helpful. Get out of this country. <laughs> oh god. I don't know how anyone. Oh, I think what I was saying about that is just like people actually stumping for him and and being like like the the best thing you can do if you're if you're totally morally bankrupt. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't know if I was like selling my soul for you know basically to be on Trump's good side and to to hopefully well, get some money or now something. Now, why was that different? Is this this is the same guy, right? There's only one. Yeah, dead that's guy. the same thing I was just doing. <laughs> What the hell am I looking at here? Why are there little floaty spirits? Will of the Wisps. Oh, well, okay, so wait a minute. I'm like putting together all the evidence of what happened, I guess. I just had to park the rail car in the right spot. Oh, wait, what? Okay. I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I have no idea how you triggered this, quite honestly. It seemed like you were kind of just going through the motions, doing the same things again. Yeah, and now what am I supposed to do with it? Oh, shit, that's Ethan. 
Uh, that doesn't look good. Oh. So this is the dude who's dead right here, and he apparently was the trying guy, to kill Ethan. Yeah, that's over him. Okay, here's where he starts having a bad day. <laughs> oh, the guy used the crank to kill him, I guess? Yep. Dude, what the hell? Uh, yeah, sorry, going... anyways, what were you talking about? Um... But I don't chronology. understand. You look like you were going forward. Wait, chronology? In the, in the kind of what was happening, but then they were back at the tram. Tag one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, so we okay. okay. So we have so to go back and put the put this together. Six, like six, six steps. Things. Okay. Yeah, six things happened. What are they? Well, what is the story here? What is he doing right there? Okay, so talking to old fucker here. Um, he grabs a rock. Okay, here he's still got his legs. <laughs> That's a good marker. We can so, at least kind of cut this in half. So I'm thinking like four, five, six, right? Unless, wait. Without his legs, yeah. So wh what would the rest of this be? So, so which wait. one? One. Hold on, I'm only counting. F no, no, okay, okay. So, wait a minute. I'm thinking one, he talks to the old man, right? They're like, hey, we should kill that kid. <laughs> I think so. I th I'm then, feeling like this is one. Yeah, two, he grabs the rock. He's like, hey, I'm going to use this to kill a kid. And then three. How's it going? Hey, I'm going to. It's going good. How are you, baby? And then three. <laughs> totally going to kill this kid. Go and four. Bed. Oh, shit, I didn't kill the kid. Or maybe I did kill the kid. You. Four. Wait, now how does he get free? Ethan. Oh, let's try. Yeah, none of these really show that as far as I know. Travis, tell me where Ethan is. Now. I'm giving the sleeper what you need. Oh, did oh. you do what? Did really? I fuck up? No, I I'm assuming you did it right. Oh, visualize. Okay, so maybe you did fuck up and they're giving you a little clue. All right, let's try. Hey, look, a rock. This will be great. I'll kill a kid. <laughs> Hail. Honey. I wish there was another way. Travis, tell me where Ethan is. Oh, wait. What? Hold on. Let's try this. Listen to me. We can destroy it. I know how. Is there some kind of like Cthulhu shit going on here? <laughs> like summoning some god? What the hell are they talking about? Tell me where Ethan is now. Giving the sleeper what he wants. The sleeper, yeah. Look, old man, you need to go home. <gasps> oh! That'll suck. Oof. Okay, I think we've got this right because it's not killing, cutting the scene. Then I say you can get that himself. Oh no! Oh, God. That's a bad day. Ugh. Yeah. Run, God damn it. Go. Get out of here. So wait, the old dude's actually saving Ethan. Travis. Close your eyes. I mean, not so much Travis, but uh... No. <laughs> oh god. Wow. Well. <laughs> now my question is what the hell did all this actually do?
I guess just like, good job, that's more of the story. Okay, if I was this kid, I'd be getting the hell out of this freaky place at this point. Is it possible that like, kill me? we are Ethan Carter and we're just, like, we're just projecting our identity onto this reporter like he did with some of his other stories? Well now, why is hmm. it still blue? Maybe back down to where the um, crank was. Oh, yep. Grandpa? Stay away! Jeez. I'm sick too. I can feel the sleeper in my head. Oh, this is I fucked up. I have hmm. to destroy the room. Quirks. I'm sorry. Ethan. Oh, no. I can't let you do that. Oh, boy. Wow. Huh. Achievement unlocked. Depression. Whatever had turned Depression. Yeah, this is... I feel a little depressed watching yeah, this. Yeah, dude, this is a depressing story. <laughs> Resist. Age helps against those things that feed on hate. Not All right, well. Or experience. I'm glad that the game spawned us back here. Their hate was less useful. <laughs> yeah, just ask the president. Because the old are tired. Ah, their hate. I don't. I don't agree with that. Well, less useful. Like <laughs> less you cannot. Useful. He's got a lot of hate, but he can't apply it constructively. No, but they, they do go to the voting booths with that hate. Yeah, I think. that they do. <laughs> but that's still not useful. I forget. Was there anything back here? Hmm. Not that I remember. Like, this seems like a big area that should... Um, that there should be something. Right. Well, I feel like... There was something we saw and, like... Didn't know what it did, but, like, now I'm... I'm, I'm like, blanking. I should have watched our last episode before coming here and, like... With what I know now about, like, how the clue system works. Oh, yeah. What we kind of just glossed over. Yeah, right. It's almost like... I mean, when you did kind of start from the beginning, you saw a lot What's more. What's that? <laughs> okay, I don't remember this. Hmm. Well, now what the hell? Okay. All right. Hey. Cool. What the fuck? What? Oh. Um... All right, let's chase the astronaut. This game is getting fucking weird, dude. It is, pretty quickly. And how did we miss all this the first time? Okay, yeah, here's what I'm really remembering. These, seeing like, this right from the beginning? These, like, cliffs. Yeah, I guess so. I think we were supposed to, like, actually just be keeping an eye out and solve these as we go along. All right, fortunately with my earphones, I can hear him. Like where he spawns. Oh. Okay. <laughs> this seems like completely not tied to the other stuff that we just saw, though. Like, what's an astronaut doing out here? Unless it's like one of Ethan's stories. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Me, you fucker. Slide tackle. Oh shit. Spaceship. What is this game? Spaceship. Alright. Okay. We've yeah, commandeered the spaceship. Mmm. <laughs> what? Did we just fucking blast off? Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely a story or something. I guess, but like... Whoa. Whoa. This definitely gets into some paranormal shit. Dude. I feel like I'm tripping balls right now. <laughs> like, you ever go for, like, the, uh... The last bit of whipped cream out out of the uh, the canister, and you accidentally inhale some of the nitrous oxide. That's that's what this is. Holy crap! 
this, if that's what this is. All right, I, we're looking at it. Okay, it's a little okay scary. so how do I fly this thing? All right. I can see other ones. There's another one, yeah. Yeah. Laptop? Uh, why is there no control? Aha. Uh -huh. oh, here we go. The beast had fa Wait, hold on. Fangs. The beast had fangs, but was heavy and slow. So when it saw the light in the sky, it waited, thinking the light would go out like the others before it. When it did not, the beast rose up on its legs and went to the place where the fire was still burning. As the orange light died, another took its place. This one was blue, bright and pure blue, that the creature had only seen along the edges of the stars. The beast showed its fangs and the light was vanished. <clears throat> A moment later, the light appeared again between uh, two distant trees. The beast wanted to go home, but could not ignore the light, so it chased it deeper into the forest. All right. Is that what I just did? Oh, wait. When the light stopped, it did so in a clearing of trees. The beast entered the circle, feeling no fear. The trees turned toward the beast, pointing at it like needles, but the tops of the trees lowered and dug into the ground. The trunks and roots were raised into the air and closed around the beast like walls. As the ground disappeared, the beast realized it would never use its fangs again. Cool. Hmm. Works for me. Get out of my room, Travis. Yeah, story fuck you, Travis. Story. Yeah, Travis. <laughs> I read the Fangs one. I liked uh, the Beast. At least he gets to leave this goddamn place. Well, so Travis is so will you, Travis. Thing, right? <laughs> yeah. So will you, Travis. Is this what I just read? Yes. Alright. So why do I get to keep some of them and not others? <laughs> Gaylord! Alright. <laughs> I'm guessing there's a uh, long history of uh, unfulfilled dreams on Travis's uh, part. So wait, <laughs> I guess that was it for this, but I feel like there was still something else that we saw in here that I'm maybe. Oh, you know what I'm remembering? I'm remembering up by the uh, the cemetery. Oh, the crow. Yeah. Well, oh, and the uh, the the, the 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 tent. We already solved that one though, or at least I think we did. We did the thing there, anyway. Yeah, I don't think we did the mausoleum. No, yeah, that's right. We should go back to that and see what the crow is all about now. If I can interact with that, I should be able to, um, like, actually locate the object that it wants me to find. Though, I don't know. It feels like there should be more in these woods. I guess we can always double back. But we actually have a lead here, so... This game is, um interesting like it, it's it's it is it's a good puzzler like an environmental puzzler yeah like, like not like portal <laughs> where like use your brain to solve the ingenious like gimmick tricks but just like actually put the the pieces and clues in the environment together yeah it seems like a lot of the a lot of these things have their own little almost mini game tied to them right yeah, like when we were in this house and we had to reconstruct that other house. Yeah. Actually, I'm really hope I pray that it saved that because I don't want to do that again. Yeah, that one was probably the most kind of annoying one. <laughs> if uh, if it that didn't save because it it loaded us all the way back there. If it didn't save, um, then what I'll do is we'll go to the cemetery, we'll solve that one, and then between episodes, I'll just resolve this one. And that should get us caught up to where we were. Gotcha. But I think, I think, it did. I don't know why. I think it, it would have after I mean, something auto, like that. Like, there's no. Is there like a save? No, there's not even a save option. It's got to be auto save. Yeah. Let's double check just to make sure. So how's your week going, buddy? Let's see the week. Politics aside, it's going yeah. pretty good so far. Uh, tomorrow I start the new job. That's what I was fishing so, for. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think we did this. So I'm, uh, yeah. HR needs a lot of stuff. And it's like, oh yeah, new jobs. They need the social security card and all that stuff. Which, funny story. Yeah. You're Still illegal. Still find that right oh. now. <laughs> <laughs> Which, funny story. I'm, I've been here illegally all this time. I just thought I'd admit it right here. The, yeah. the terror is real. <laughs> oh man, uh, I hope we get like flagged. All the, all the oh, thanks <laughs> all the stuff about like tb tests and all that which i've you know obviously i've done i've needed to do it for nursing school i've needed to do it for my current job mm -hmm. uh, and it's just like i can't find the receipts for that 
all the all the documentation and i have like this big file cabinet where i put all this crap right i can't find it so it's i think there is a website that illinois is trying to like it's one of the states that tries to keep all that stuff together even even though you know there's not any official national database or anything for oh here's immunizations i think illinois tries to do that so i'm going to look into that before i go to bed okay but uh yeah it was just a lot of paperwork to fill out i9 yeah again there there is an i9 which is like you're not an illegal are you basically (laughs) um you're not mexican are you (laughs) so yeah just a lot of stuff with that that's what i was doing for uh most of my day after after work and after the gym I got you. Yeah, but aside from that, it's yeah, nothing crazy. I, I'm wanting to get back into Persona. It's been like three days since I've played it, which is way too long. Um, <laughs> I'm done with uh, Madarame's Palace. Oh, nice! So I'm, You're actually I'm like making progress, a, dude. Yeah, I am. I'm making progress now. I'm really into it, so I want to make progress. So you've got Yusuke I'm, and Ryuji and An and uh, Hero. So you've got like a full complement now. So wait, there's yeah. a grave down here, and that looks like the crow. So... Yeah, and I'm... Uh, oh, wait, okay, here it it's is. It's really nice to, in that game, when you get Yusuke, and it's like, okay, you can only have four party members, and it made me realize, oh, wait a second, like, I took Morgana out, so I wanted Yusuke, and I was like, oh, when I need to heal... I could just use Morgana, who's not really doing anything. And it's just like, man, that saves some SP for sure. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah, so that's nice. Okay, so there's a crow in the grave. The crow's in the graveyard. Yeah, dude, um, I love Persona's combat when you uh, you finally get deeper into it. I think think I'm still not seeing the full depth of it, but it's, it's every time... You know, every every few hours, it seems like I'm appreciating it more because it's like, oh, you know, there's I love the whole one more finding their weaknesses system and right. the baton pass when, once everyone's getting like a baton pass and what you can do with that. And then, you know, there was I went through a phase where it's like, well, I'm always going to ask for money or I'm always going to do this. And it's like, oh, wait a second. If there's more than one person left, it seems like the experience, you're not getting all the experience you should be getting. So, mm-hmm. yeah, there's there's just a lot of. It, it's I'm, I'm liking the battle system a lot yeah and uh the sp saving here's the thing is that the kamashita's palace was really difficult for that i you know that I mean, was that, a, that like was a tricky or four days. first dungeon you know yeah the, the next like real challenge i think you're gonna find is in the pyramid so yeah you, i think you've got like another dungeon or two before that one and okay. um and and those are really good. Like use those opportunities. Like try to clear them in like one or two days, and then just run around there and grind a little bit. Um, okay. Because it, it's it's worth doing. Like you use like try to maximize your time for those. Every time I get into a like if I'm doing a second day in a pal, and it seems Madarames they kind of force you out at some point. And uh, every time I go back in, I don't warp to where I, that my last safe room. I'll go through and I'll see if I can just fight with mostly attacks. Uh-huh. Um and and re-get the treasure and re you know, if I if there was any personas I didn't pick up, try to pick them up. Yeah. Uh and just get a bunch of money <laughs> basically right. cuz I'm I'm realizing like money is like just as important as as the exp or kind of like it seems like more so yeah like there's uh, there's so much i want to buy and not enough money yeah so you'll occasionally find a good weapon in mementos but by and large you're purchasing the money like almost exclude or you're purchasing weapons almost exclusively yeah I was, yeah, I, I definitely, and then I got use case, like, oh, damn it, well, I didn't realize I was going to get another party member, so, and I, I got all this stuff from Morgana, which I was happy about, because um, I ended up tapping Morgana back in for the boss fight, and mm-hmm. it's just really nice to have yeah, a, that's a the multi thing. You will, spell. Yeah, you <laughs> will use all of your characters. Oh, okay. Hmm. Pull the lever. Pull the fucking lever. Oh. oh! Oh, here we go. All right. Oh, shit. Who's the, is that his grandpa? His grandpa just ate some food. I don't know. I think it is. I think so too. Yeah, I think that's his clothes. Cause of death? 
Eh, natural causes. <laughs> that seems pretty legit. Oh, wait, no, he's white. This man was murdered. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. Oh, shit. Well. What? Well, at least now we have a weapon. Equip? I thought, for a second, just how that looked, I thought, like, a freaking uh, face hugger was coming out of his chest. Uh -huh. Oh, we've got to <laughs> solve. came out at first. Okay, we've got to solve this uh, the same way we did Travis. All right. There's my AC. There's your AC. Okay, so, wait a minute. Aha. Dagger. Fix. Dagger. All right. One thing, um... I'm listening. Tell me if this is, like, like if this was premature of me. But, um, I Max, it happens yeah, to everybody, what's... man. I swear. <laughs> no. You don't have to okay, worry about that. I, I, was it Ty, Ty to Cammy, whatever her name is? Uh, she's the death person, she's the death confidant. I know that. Mm -hmm. Um, so for a while, she's been selling oh, like, the accessories. doctor, yes, yeah. And she has like these SP, like, uh -huh. healing accessories or yeah, something. Dude. Okay, Ma okay. maximize your so... relationship with her and buy that shit for cheap. It is worth okay, it. and that's what I was gonna say because I just I, I like just she's... got where it's like you get a discount and they yes. were half off. Dude, she's one so of, I... she is one of the side characters that it is absolutely worth pursuing a relationship with. That's that's um, what I was figuring. That's what okay. Good. Her and uh the teacher, um uh the the hero's teacher, um and who else? Let me think here. Um oh the girl Wait, who teaches okay. the girl who teaches you how to play Chinese checkers. Those are the those are the three non-party characters that I really worked hard to maximize my relationship with. Oh, they, and, they gave and, me some good stuff. Yeah, and um, Sojiro, of course. Um, okay. But the um, the fortune teller. The, when you say teacher, are you talking about the one who's like moonlighting as maid? Yes. Yeah. Keep calling okay. her. Okay. And... That's okay. Yeah. Um, that I just gotta say that's I like that. That's, well, hers is hers is it's, really good. It's pretty fun because she will like when you maximize your relationship with her. She will um, brew coffee and uh, make curry for you, as well as um, laundry and all of those things. Like are necessary, like kind of uh, helpful ways to get through dungeons. Isn't and, that... and she will do them for you without set like for at first she'll charge a fee, which is pretty affordable. But eventually she'll okay. do them for free and it won't cost you any time. So basically you're getting freebies. Um, the Ooh. doctor is obvious. She oh. sells, the doctor is obvious. She sells oh. the best accessories in the game. So um, wait a second, because you were talking about coffee and curry. And I was like, isn't that Sojiro's thing? Yes, but, but when, you're saying but when he teaches that you, she, she'll... she will learn from you and then make them. And then she'll do it. Yes. And it doesn't cost you time. Like no. it, the like it doesn't make it coffee. yourself. Yeah, and it costs time. Yeah, okay. Alrighty. Um, and then let me think here. The girl who does uh, so Jiro is just a good one to have for the story. And there's some other benefits of his, like you can make the best curry in the game, which basically like restores your MP okay. or your SP. He's completely. kind of annoying. Like not not him himself, although he was in the beginning of the game. But it just seems like I got to do a lot with him to freaking level up. I feel and 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 I I'm doing pretty good with the having the personas with me of the like personas. Uh, cause I'm just getting every, every dungeon I go to, I just get everything. Um, so I always can have them on, on, on file or something. And if I go through and I'm doing, you know, I'm, I'm saving in every slot. So if I go through, I'm like, Oh, I'm on a date with Anne. I'm like, wait a second. I didn't have a lover's persona. Did I? No, I didn't. Oh, crap. I'm gonna, I literally will reload a save and go buy one real quick. But, um, yeah. Um, what was I going to say? So the, I can't remember her name, but the teacher was, I already hung out with her once and I got like, a, what is it called? Like blow off or something where you get to like blow off her class. I'm assuming. Yeah. I, yes. I don't know. That, what does that another, do? That that's another useful yet. one is she will, um, just like, um, basically, um, it's, it's random for one thing. So it's not the most useful one though. The big payoff for her comes at the end, but sometimes okay. during clash, she'll just like cut you some slack and you can, uh, I'll always always have a book with you because you can use that time to read a book instead and just like upgrade some of your like social attributes 
Okay, gotcha. Um, so you can you can yeah. it's like a free a block the, of time. Yeah. Okay. So so again, it's just basically buying you time. Um, and then the the okay. Chinese checkers girl is probably the most useful one in the game because when you maximize her out, you can actually swap party members in and out of battle with no penalty whatsoever. So it becomes like oh, okay. FF10. Like FF10 style. Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to try I have no idea what I'm looking at here. Okay, so that was not number one. All right. Yeah, I was I was playing. Addy was around and uh, doing the whole like calling the maid service, uh -huh. and I was <laughs> it was literally like, um, this is really hot. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty funny too how it, it came it about. It is like how you accidentally I did hire not expect, her as a like like Ryuji. Basically. I totally expected to to be on something like this, but oh, then Mishima came in. I'm sorry, he, Mi Mishima. Mishima is another one that I, I I'm not sure if I maxed him out, but I came pretty darn close. Okay, so that, this is number one. This is not number two. I'm going to assume his stuff is all about getting EXP for, for your yes, other party for your members. Because that's like the, the first yeah. thing. The nice thing about him is that if you max him out, I think everyone earns like... So even characters that aren't in your battle party are still earning the same EXP as the ones who are. Okay, that's, that's what I figured. It would be yeah. something like that. Okay. I'm assuming doing stuff for him is like doing the mementos missions or something i haven't i haven't really uh-huh haven't really touched those yet i've just been kind of going blasting through the blasting through the castles uh -huh. but um yeah oh boy. so that's been fun i gotta get back to it and wrong. see if i can have time in the, in the coming days uh, i'm at a tv station right now so it's like it seems like ooh, wow oh shit ethan Okay, so the next, if I don't already have that as the next one, that's when she stabs him. Oh, God. I like how everyone who tries to help Ethan, like, has something horrible. Yeah. Okay, so... Two, three, this will be four over here. And then... That one will be five. Okay, so I think we're good here. Oh, shit. Oh, boy. Ugh. Bad day. <laughs> this is get, this is giving me, like, some Resident Evil 4, like, before, like, Las Plagas. Uh, right. Can't lose. This is giving me some Resident Evil <laughs> the 4 vibes. upcoming five. week. <laughs> yeah, right, like, this is the prequel to Resident Evil 4. <laughs> Oops. What's up? Hello? Okay, I'm back. Alright. <laughs> my my headphones popped out of both of my ears. Nice. Like they do. Like they do sometimes. Alright, let's go wake I up Lost Plaga soon. Yeah. Dude, I really love my uh, um headphones from um Corsair, uh, even for like Primo ones, are pretty reasonable. Um, I really yeah. like the pair that I have. Um, they do 7.1 virtual surround sound, so for PC gaming, nice. it is, yeah. It's awesome. I think I need to get some some new ones for the uh, PlayStation 4. Those gold headphones have oh, uh, dude, yeah. really been doing me well, but the one of the ears is started, not the ear itself, but like the, the, material. the connection. Oh. The, like the strap, or what do you call it, the plastic thing. The, the ear piece is starting to like come off completely. Oh, really? So it's like it, it cracked or something yeah, where, so, where you kind of fold it. Yeah, so so I haven't had a problem like that. Um, I've had um, like the, the faux leather is like starting to peel off of mine. Okay. No, mine, mine kind of had like a catastrophic like it's almost like something snapped or something. So yeah, yeah it, it's still if I angle if I like snap it back and then put it on my head right away tunnel It'll near the gate sorry i'm trying to pay attention to saying that's no, okay tunnel near the gate all right so God, i feel i feel really bad for this kid here <laughs> so he's like seeing that they're all like under lost plagueis and uh yeah. he's <laughs> trying to save them somehow 
Okay, so what did he say? Tunnel near the gate. Mm -hmm. Tunnel near the gate. We need to find a gate and then go in the tunnel. Where could that be? Up here is where we found the tent, right? Yes. Yeah, because I wanted to go up here and get I an think overview. So. Yeah. And then we just got sucked into that, like, riddle. Was that with the witch? Thing. Yeah. That was the tent? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, also got, uh, to think of what's, what's, what else is going on this week, got oh, wait, I tickets I for Distant Worlds. Dude, for... really? Oh, yeah. We, That's I've, awesome. I've gone... I've gone to Distant Worlds, I think, either two or three times. So this would be time number three yeah, or four. Yeah, you told me about that. I usually go with a few friends. Um, nice. Go with Addie. She's sitting out this time. But okay. yeah, it'll be good. So that's in September, like mid-September. Tickets are, you know, it's a little expensive. It's like 80-something dollars. Uh -huh. And then for months afterwards, the Chicago Symphony Orchestra is like bugging me it's like oh do you like distant worlds maybe you'll like uh, maybe you like real music other, <laughs> some other classical music it's like no no i don't it's like Bye. no dude i'm just a geek <laughs> leave me alone like would you like to make a monthly two okay so this donation? definitely isn't what i was thinking but this might be the correct way to go <laughs> yeah right can we have your money <laughs> Ugh. that'll be fun so I, I, i've been oh. kind of listening now spotify has the uh oh. the full albums Okay. I thought that said Ethan for a second. Yeah. I'm like, well, mystery solved. Press, press X to Ethan. <laughs> All right, Max. Uh, well, shit. How long have we been recording here? Uh, does it say on the... It doesn't say here. No, it would probably say Wait, on OBS, it... but I can't pull it up without... I don't know how much of this we have left. We could go for it. Or we could say next time on Play the Hits. Let's we'll see next time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next time on Play the Hits, we'll make this a three-parter. We solved Alrighty. the mystery of Ethan Carter, even if it's a shorter episode. Who knows? Or maybe we're nowhere near the end. Yeah, but they have <laughs> we're not even at the halfway like, what, point. A four or five hour I mean, it feels like though. we've kind of put together a lot of a lot of this. Oh, yeah. I, I know we went down a tunnel, so we're going to come out by that lake building that we saw last time. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But in any case, we'll save that for next time right here on Play the Hits. Right. We'll see you then. See ya.